Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. We're talking about those everyday things that seem harmless but can actually turn on you in a second. Now I'm not trying to scare you. I just want everyone to be safe and aware. We're going to explore seven common things that can hurt you easily if you're not careful. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at spotting potential dangers and avoiding them like a champ. So grab a comfy seat, maybe a snack, but watch out for those sharp edges. And let's dive right into it. Let's go. All right, let's start with the basics. Sharp objects. Even the most ordinary items like knives, forks, scissors, even a simple pen can turn into little ninjas if you're not careful. Imagine this, you're in the kitchen rushing to make a sandwich and bam, the knife slips. Ouch. Or you're running late for work, grabbing your things and you bump your hand on that open pen in your bag. Ink everywhere. And don't even get me started on paper cuts. Those tiny terrors are like the ninjas of the paper world silent, sneaky, and surprisingly painful. Always handle sharp objects with care. No matter how rushed you are, take a moment to slow down, focus, and treat those pointy friends with respect. They're tools, not toys. And remember, when it comes to sharp objects, a little caution goes a long way. Let's talk about something we all love but can be a bit of a hothead heat. From the stovetop to the curling iron, hot surfaces are a part of our daily routines. Picture this, you're whipping up a delicious meal, reaching for a pan in the oven and whoops, you forget your trusty oven mitt, ouch, or you're styling your hair in the zone and accidentally touch the curling iron, not a good look. And let's not forget about those sneaky hot beverages, spilled coffee on your lap, yeah, we've all been there. The point is, heat can be deceiving. It can go from warm and cozy to ouch, that's hot, in a split second. Use oven mitts, pot holders, and heat-resistant gloves whenever you're dealing with high temperatures. And remember, even a seemingly cool surface can still be hot enough to burn if you're not careful. Okay folks, let's talk about something we've all experienced at some point. Slippery floors. Whether it's a freshly mopped kitchen floor or a wet bathroom tile, those slick surfaces can turn your world upside down faster than you can say timber. Imagine this. You're walking through the house, minding your own business, and suddenly, whoosh, you hit a patch of wet floor and find yourself doing an unexpected dance move. Hopefully it's a graceful glide, but sometimes it's more of a flailing, help, I've fallen and I can't get up moment. And slippery floors aren't just about water. Think about rugs that haven't been secured properly, or even a stray toy left on the stairs. Those little obstacles can be like landmines for your feet. So what's the solution? First and foremost, cleanup spills immediately. Use non-slip mats in areas prone to moisture, like bathrooms and kitchens. So walk, don't run, and keep your eyes peeled for potential hazards. All right, folks, let's talk about a hidden danger that's closer than you might think, electrical outlets. We use them every day, but it's easy to forget the power they hold, literally. It's like that friend who's always full of energy but sometimes forgets their own strength. Imagine this. You're reaching behind the couch to plug in your phone charger and zap. You accidentally touch the exposed prongs of a plug. Ouch. Or you're trying to fix a frayed lamp cord. And before you know it, you're doing the electric slide and not the fun kind. Now, I'm not saying you should be afraid of your outlets. They're essential for powering our homes and our lives, but it's important to treat them with respect. Never stick your fingers or any objects into an outlet. If you see a damaged outlet or a frayed cord, don't try to fix it yourself unless you're a qualified electrician. Call a professional. They're the superheroes of the electrical world. Chapter 5. Lift with your legs, not your back. The heavy lifting challenge. Okay folks, let's talk about something we all have to do at some point. Lifting heavy objects. Whether it's a suitcase full of vacation souvenirs or a stack of books that rivals the library, lifting heavy items incorrectly can lead to some serious aches and pains. Imagine this, you're moving furniture, feeling strong and confident, and suddenly, pop, you feel a sharp pain in your back. Lifting heavy objects isn't just about brute strength, it's about technique. Always bend at your knees, not your waist. Keep your back straight and use your leg muscles to lift the weight. And if something feels too heavy, don't be afraid to ask for help. Your back will thank you for it. Chapter 6. The Hidden Dangers Lurking in Your Cabinets. Toxic Chemicals. All right, folks, let's talk about something that might seem harmless at first glance, but can actually pack a powerful punch household chemicals. We use them to clean our homes and keep things sparkling, but it's important to remember that these cleaning agents are powerful substances that need to be handled with care. Imagine this. You're on a cleaning spree, feeling good about making your home sparkle, and suddenly, whoosh, 
You accidentally splash some bleach on your skin and ouch, it burns. Always read the labels carefully and follow the instructions. Never mix different chemicals together as this can create toxic fumes. And remember, ventilation is key. Open those windows and let the fresh air in while you're cleaning. So channel your inner cleaning superhero, but do it safely. Your health is worth it. Chapter seven, let there be light. Why inadequate lighting can be dangerous. All right, folks, let's shed some light on a common household hazard that's often overlooked, inadequate lighting. We might not think much about it, but proper lighting is essential for our safety, especially in our homes. Imagine this. You're walking down a dimly lit hallway, feeling your way along, and bam, you trip over a stray object that's lurking in the shadows. Inadequate lighting can lead to accidents, eye strain, and even make it easier for burglars to target your home. So, what can we do to brighten things up? First and foremost, make sure all areas of your home, especially hallways and stairways, are well lit. Use a combination of overhead lighting, table lamps, and floor lamps to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. Remember, a little light can go a long way in preventing accidents and creating a welcoming and safe environment. Outro. That's a wrap. Stay safe, everyone. Well, folks, there you have it. Seven common things that can hurt you easily if you're not careful. Remember, knowledge is power. And by being aware of these potential dangers, you can take steps to avoid them and stay safe. Life is full of surprises, and while we can't prevent every little mishap, a little bit of caution and common sense can go a long way. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.